If at first you don't succeed has been the mantra of many a tech project, and Google's Chrome OS is no different. Hi, I'm Seth Rosenblatt for CNET, and today we're taking a first look at Chrome OS's new desktop and new features. This is the new default desktop for Chrome OS. You have apps pinned here, Chrome itself, Gmail, Google Search, YouTube, and your apps. These are not the default apps. These are apps that I have added and synchronized. When you jump into Chrome, you get the browser, apps here. Over on this side, you have obviously your time and your profile, which you can then use to reveal settings, shut down, sign out, lock, date, internet connection, Bluetooth status, keyboard status, sound, brightness, settings and help, which open like everything else in a Chrome tab. Here you have your browsing history, extensions, and settings. You can pin apps to the desktop as you can in Windows 7. Pin to launcher. And there is IMO chat. In any Chrome browser, if you go to the wrench, and go to About Chrome OS, you can see the version of Chrome OS that you're running and the channel that you're on. Chrome OS updates fairly regularly, and the updates will make legacy hardware work better over time. The new Chrome OS supports a wide range of files, including DocX, Doc, PowerPoint, PDF, Spreadsheet, and zip files. Still, Chrome OS is really meant for those people who love their Google accounts. Google Sync carries things like apps, autofill, bookmarks, extensions, history, passwords, settings, themes, and even open tabs. If you're worried about security, you can choose a two-factor authentication. You can print in Chrome OS too, using either a local printer or print to your local FedEx office. The past year's worth of updates to Google's Chrome OS have made it much more viable as an operating system that you can live with day in and day out. However, it's still extremely tied to Google's ecosystem, and so it's really for those people who just cannot live without the Google. With a first look at Google's new Chrome OS, I'm Seth Rosenblatt.